So here we have a system of Joe Bob. Bob and Joe are entangled in a tug of war. The mass of Bob is 65 kilograms, and Joe, who has no belt on, has a slightly smaller mass, 45 kilograms. Question stipulates that Bob moves with an acceleration of 3 meters per second squared in the positive direction. Question is, what is Joe's acceleration? This is a common example of Newton's third law. The, the idea is that through the, through the tension of the rope, whatever force is being exerted on Bob is also being exerted on Joe. And so those two forces are equal. So if we were to look at just Bob for a moment, there would be a weight force acting down, a normal force acting up, and a tension force from the rope. And these two forces would cancel. So in this case, our net force is equal to just that tension. And we can find that by taking the mass of Bob, 65, times the acceleration, 3.0, and that comes out to 195 newtons. What we can then say is that this force is equivalent to the force acting on Joe. So if we draw Joe over here, again, we'll have a smaller weight, a smaller normal force, but that tension will be 195 newtons, although this time it will be in the negative direction. So what we can do now is we can say that this net force acting on Joe is negative 195 newtons. That will be equal to Joe's mass times his acceleration, mass being 45, acceleration. We plug in for acceleration, we take negative 195, and divided by 45, and our answer comes out to a negative 4.3 meters per second squared. Now we can sidestep that in a quick calculation by saying that the force on Bob is equal to the negative value of the force on Joe, like this, and then plugging in for the force on Bob, the mass of Bob times Bob's acceleration, and saying that that's equal to the mass of Joe times the acceleration of Joe. And so now, we can plug in our values in here very cleanly. We're going to have 65 times 3 is equal to 45 times the acceleration of Joe. We'll throw a negative on there. So in this case, we find our acceleration the exact same as before. This still multiplies to 195, divided by 45. And again, we'll get a negative 4.3 meters per second squared. If we check our answer, this makes sense. If the same force is acting upon these two people, and this one is more massive, then he will have a smaller acceleration, and that is what we end up with, negative. Joe Bob.